Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net. I'm here at Showstopper CES 2009. Now, we're at the Display Link booth. When we last left our intrepid heroes, it was at the end of last year's Showstoppers, and uh, they had just released a chipset, a, a very revolutionary chipset that allowed you to get full motion VGA, full motion video through, you, through your USB port. I mean, it had never been done before, and, and at the time it was kind of, you know, interesting, but it, it didn't have the, the following that it has now. Fast forward one year, you find their chips in, in I.O. gear, and uh, everyone from Samsung to LG, and it really has taken off. I'm here with Theo from DisplayLink, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how that's come about and, and what they've developed over the last year. So, so Theo, tell me, what do you got? Well, first of all, the big step from next year, from last year, is that now we've cut the wire. We've got, last year, you might have remembered, we had three guys walking around, laptop, two monitors. They were tied together with a USB cable. This year, we completely cut the wire. This guy, he just has this IO gear wireless USB adapter, and he can walk away and still be connected to that computer over there. Yeah, it, we, we took a look at this last night at Digital Experience, and uh, you know, 30 feet away, and you can get, uh, is it 720p is, is the maximum resolution? Um, for wireless, we'd recommend staying at 480p. Um, it depends on the radio guys, because we only do the graphics part of it. We don't do the radio transport, so it depends who's un underlying uh, the transport. Um, but you could do 720p. Quality, I wouldn't watch it on my home theater. Yeah, you, you really do have to watch it when you're, you're dealing with wireless, because it's, it is so subjective to, to essentially what kind of environment you're in. Exactly. It's great for graphics. It's great for computer video. For home theater use, you probably want to look at another solution. Now. Wireless is just part of it. I understand you've got a couple of, uh, of LCD monitors that, that have display link built in as the primary interface now. Absolutely. And what we have here is this Samsung D190S called the Sidekick that they introduced at CES 2009. And this actually won the uh, Innovation Award for CES. Now, this monitor also has a VGA in, but as you know, VGA is analog. You connect it to your laptop, you're going to get some noise. So the only digital interface that you have is USB, and it makes it so easy. It, part, it mates up right up with your, net, with your notebook, same height, same width, and you have a great pairing of a USB monitor to your notebook. Yeah, that's, that's actually interesting that you mentioned that because yeah, a lot of people do multiple monitors, but uh, often what happens is when you try to do multiple monitors with your laptop, the style doesn't quite match, the height's not quite right. This looks like it's actually been designed to, to look like the screen on my, on my notebook. Absolutely. It's got the bigger bezel on the bottom so that it picks it up a little bit off the ground. It's got the wide 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's exactly designed to mate with your notebook. All right, so that's, that's big monitors, but you, we've also got some small ones. And, and last year, you, you showed them off as, as just sort of a, a, an interesting tidbit, but I, I've seen them in the wild now. They seem to be getting more popular. What, what do you have to show me here? What we have is right here, and you might remember last year we had a prototype version of this that we had made on ourselves. Now, this guy is made by NanoVision out of Korea. It's a 7-inch monitor, um, 800 by 480 resolution. You can put a video on it, you can put your Skype, you can put your AOL, your iTunes, uh, your Google gadgets, anything you could put anywhere on your computer. You can stick out here so it's out of the way, and you can have your main display full screen for your application, but you can still monitor all these other cool apps at the side. And the cool thing about this is it's completely USB bus powered. So it has no battery, it has no power cable, which means in terms of installation, of putting it where you want it, you have a lot of freedom. Yeah, that, that's actually, I remember because you, you were at Interop this year as well, and, and they were showing the first version of this, which was a, a lot smaller. It was, it was sort of like a, a clip-on for a Samsung monitor. But the fact that you've been able to power the entire thing, I mean, if you can see this on the video, there's a, there, there is no power cable. It's just the USB connector, and that provides both the power and the data to get your signal. And, and on this as well, you can, you can get full motion video, yes? Which is what we're seeing right now, which is an... Um I'm trying to look at what the, uh, what the format is. It's a LG video about their USB monitors that we see right back here. This is the smaller version made by another company. Now, Theo, I understand that you're also, uh, well, you're advancing your efforts in docking stations. So uh, tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. So one of the biggest segments of notebooks that have been selling are actually netbooks. And the big problem with netbooks is that the screens are tiny, and the keyboards are tiny, and the trackpads are tiny. So they're nice, they're portable, but 
they're really not all that practical when you get down to it. So the perfect solution for that is a docking station, because a docking station will give you a display, a keyboard, and a mouse. The, where the problem comes in is most docking stations traditionally require a hard connector, a proprietary connector, which takes up a lot of space, adds cost, all these things that are contrary to the netbook principles. So what we've done is we now have here, and this is a, an example by HP, is a USB docking station. So I've got an EPC go running right here with a single USB cable going to this docking station that is driving these two huge monitors off my EPC. Which is fantastic because, I mean, honestly, EEPCs or, or netbooks, whatever you want to call it, they're nice, but tiny little screens, and, and you're going to have an external mouse, you're going to have an external keyboard, you might as well have an external video source. Exactly. And so here we have a 16 by, 1600 by 1200 monitor. Here we're actually showing our next generation chip. This is a prototype doing 1920 by 1200 off the EPC. This is something that it natively cannot do on top of multiple monitors. It just can't drive that high of a resolution. Um, of course, also, we've got audio coming out of the dock, so we have actually full-fledged speakers and not these little tiny ones that they crammed into the netbook. Now, 19, 1900 by 1200, that's big for me because uh, I drive a lot of 24-inch uh, uh, monitors, and, and you know, I was always a little, uh, I had to run it at a little lower resolution when I was running with display link, but when can we expect to see those prototypes make it to market? Um, as far as uh, adapters are concerned, I would expect March or April. Um, I'll, obviously, it will depend on our customers' QAs and all that kind of stuff, but they have samples right now and they are starting their designs, so I would expect March, April, before the summer, definitely. Anything else you can tell me about the future for uh, DisplayLink in the next couple of months? Um, Samsung, in their booth, has a version of this that is wireless. So they've taken this. They ha this is a 19-inch uh, version. They have a 22-inch version, and they made the 22-inch wireless as well. So it's definitely all these permutations you can do. You can change the size. You can change the resolution. You can use a u wired USB connection or a wireless USB connection. Now these computer or these display manufacturers have all these options in front of them that they didn't have before. Well, thank you very much, Theo. It's been wonderful to see you again at, uh, here at uh, Showstoppers. Uh, display Link just keeps getting better. You may not know it, but you're probably going to be using one of their chips if you check out the latest in, uh, well, display technology. Now, be sure to keep coming back because we've got day two of CES coming up here at Gadget at thetechstop.net.